This year, something at the Agco Crop Tour that's been done differently than in past years is we've added a few things, some of them being high speed, another one being row cleaner management, really discussing how do we manage residue with the planter. So the preferred style then, and the majority of the country, is a floating row cleaner. So a floating row cleaner, as you can see there, will actually move up and down and follow the contours of the ground. As it moves up and down, it's not going to be as prone to plow. So the question then becomes, how do I set these row cleaners so they're not so aggressive, but so I'm still removing residue? The clean sweep system puts an air cylinder on every row cleaner, and then it's pressure based. So what you would do as the operator in the cab is move a dial to the left or to the right to either provide varying amounts of down or lift force on the row cleaner. In one particular plot in Illinois, we did do a corn on corn strip till test with no row cleaners whatsoever, a floating row cleaner setup, and then running our clean sweep system. And the yield potential difference in that particular field was 50 bushel from no row cleaners at all to some sort of floating row cleaner at least. The great benefit to the clean sweep system is the ability to adjust it on the fly as you go through the field as you notice it moving too much material, maybe not enough, without having to take time and actually go up there and adjust every single row, cut up your hands and hit your head a few times. It allows you the ability to do that on the fly and actually make those adjustments for the conditions that you're in. On average, growers are telling us they're adjusting their fixed row cleaners without clean sweep maybe two or three times per season. On average, the growers with Crop Tour this year that ran a planter with clean sweep said they were continuously adjusting their row cleaners. Every pass would make some tweaks just to get them in that ideal spot. If you want to make a slight pressure change, you can simply do that from the cab, from 60 PSI to 55 PSI of lift. Clean sweep allows us to remove all the residue, kick it aside, so the seeds don't have to deal with it, and we end up with good emergence and ears that look like this, as opposed to nubbins because of that uh, late emergence caused by the residue wicking away moisture.